What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome to Trash Town. Population. The augment we're talking about today in Warframe. So, we're going to be going over the new Protea augment mod today. Potentially one of the most insulting things DE has released in, you know, about like two weeks. Uh, so, yeah, once the new Steel Essence store comes out, it will definitely put this to shame. But we're going to be going over that Protea augment for reviving Sentinels today. And there's a lot of things that are not very good about this. So, hope you are in the mood for some negativity. And maybe some popcorn. I want some popcorn. All right, so the new augment for Protea is called Dispensary of Garbage. That's what they should call it because this thing is a Band-Aid covered in, in slime and trash. It's called Repair Dispensary, actually. It's going to be for her third ability. Now, keep in mind, this is... I think it's an Exilus mod. Um, yeah, you can put in the Exilus slot. So what this one will do is you can hold down the button for your dispensary, your third ability, and... Keep in mind, you can also subsume this on other frames, so this ability and this augment mod can be used in other frames of the helmet system. Hold on the button to create a special dispensary that will revive a sentinel or companion MOA uh, of a player within 14 meters every 60 seconds. So once you cast this ability, it is a 60 second cooldown. And yeah, you can only have one dispensary out at a time, so if you use your normal dispensary to shoot out ammo, health, energy, etc., etc., and then you try to use this, one or the other one is going to delete and be gone. And then you have to wait 60 seconds to recast it. So it's very annoying. So let's just quickly use the normal dispensary here so we can show that. Like, okay, get some energy out of that. Get some health orbs. Push the button for the special dispensary. The best thing about this dispensary is a little death cube on top of it. But now notice we cannot use it again, even if it doesn't even proc. If we don't even, if we don't even write anything, it will not let us recast it. I'm holding down the button, it's doing nothing. So I can push the button again. For my normal dispensary, the, co the companion sentinel one is gone. And we have to literally leave the simulacrum to reset the, the cooldown because it's, yeah. Uh, you know, this is kind of outdated. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This should probably be a base functionality of every sentinel. They've got the mod called Prime Regen. Well, here's some fun info information for you. Prime Regen, those three lives, extra lives you get for your Sentinel, that does not, this ability does not reset it. You get one extra life for your Sentinel. So this right here, Prime Regen. If killed, the Sentinel will regenerate uh, three times. So you get three extra lives in your Sentinel to 100% health and be in invincible for 11 seconds. This just needs to get reworked entirely. Make this like the Panzer Volpa Phyla ability, uh, where it's like the normal version of Regen is going to make it where, you know, you re it's going to come back to life every like 70 seconds and prime versions every 30 seconds because yeah uh sentinels here i mean you're you're de is acknowledging that sentinels need to get revived well here we are with the band-aid of band-aids which requires you to like inconvenience yourself and use a mod slot so here we are with my sentinel flying pretty quickly if they actually shoot at them now here's here's where um sentinels actually die like in one hit at high levels and you can't revive them like a a cat or a a MOA or whatever. So if these enemies can actually figure out how to shoot my Sentinel, you'll see one life down. There you go. So that's one out of three lives. For So if you're doing an Endurance around the Sentinel, good luck. Uh, a lot of people like to use Helios Prime to get that uh, Gladiator Set bonus so they can get like easier red crits and all that. There's a second life down. There's also things like you could use Death Cube for energy generation. You could use... Uh, I guess... Oh, I like Worm Prime. Worm Prime's pretty good. It has that built-in uh, status negation every five seconds. But here's the thing. Since these are so outdated, these need an entire rework. And they're already putting a band-aid on it, so let's... Uh, let's just show how bad it actually is. So, now that we're on the third life, they can kill it one more time. And we'll show how terrible it actually is. So, it's dead. I'm gonna hold the button down. Now, one person... As you can see, the X goes there, goes there uh, right after it revives. Um, one person gets to have their Sentinel revive every 60 seconds. If you're in a squad of four, what, do they expect us to have four Proteas using this Augment mod? I'm just not going to use a Sentinel in that, in that situation. I'm just going to use a Cat. I'm just going to use a Vulpophyla. And there you go. My Sentinel's about to be dead again. One more bullet and he's dead. So, um, yeah, now you're screwed. Now you have to wait 30 more seconds before your trash sentinel can be revived again with this thing. And there's no way to reduce the cooldown. There's a way to re increase the range, to increase the duration of how long it lasts for. But it's it's multiple inconveniences. Why is it should just there this little X thing is fun, but once this is actually 
revive something, I don't need to see a little X just to annoy me. Make it disappear. Because there's I can't even recast it in the first place. So, yeah, uh, that's a really, really, really bad augment mod. And as you can see, like, here, I'll revive my companion again. But what did that really accomplish? It really didn't accomplish much. These things need an inc complete overhaul and survivability. Um, people have been asking for this for, honestly, multiple years at this point. Uh, and, like, I think you can add, they added the link mods, I believe. Or maybe they didn't. Okay, well, I, I guess they can't use the link mods for your health and armor. They just have these garbage base values. So, um, my Sentinel with a maxed out health mod has 1,280 health. And let's just see what a Vulpophila has. You know, the actual good companions. The Panzer Vulpophila cat does viral procs, is immortal, can remove enemy armor. So, I'm using a low health Protea, both a link health mod, and I have a maxed out. It's at 990. And if I was to go with an actual high health build on my frame, it would be like 10,000 health in some situations. If you're using like an Anaros or a Nidus, um, the health gets insane. There are 12,000 health on my Vulpophila. Same exact build. Let's look at the, the companion we just had, the Carrier Prime, 1280. It does not scale at all. And not to mention that, it's like, look at this garbage here. We've got only three lives. And then if you're going to be using, for some reason, you're using the Protea Dispenser Augment, you get an extra life every 60 seconds. So that's just going to get one shot at high levels. The the risk versus reward and the payoff of using this is not high enough. What does the what is this Sentinel doing that is so important that it has to have these survivability issues and these giant pains in the butt of inconvenience on resing? Looter. Okay, so I can open loot crates every 12, 12 in every 12 meters. Maybe okay for like speed rank a mission if you just need to have those extra credits, like that extra 200 credits to drop from the boxes. There's uh, anti-grav array. This also works for MOAs. Um, increases the jump height. Like, see these things? These things are not really worth it. Sacrifice, I guess, uh, will revive you every... Will revive you back to full health. I mean, this is planning for failure. This is just planning for failure right here. The Vampire Cat can do this as well. So, I guess Shield Charger and Guardian for shield getting cheese. But at the same time, it's also planning for failure. All these things can be accomplished very easily while using the superior companions, like Smeetas. Smeetas are time wizards, makes it so you're getting double the amount of resources, double the amount of XP, things like that. Um, the Panzer Volpophila makes you do like 300% extra damage to everything, all the viral procs. And we're looking at the build right here, like, oh, Mediray. The only... Sentinels are a relic of a long-ago era. They, they used to only have vacuum. Now that we have fetch for companions, the, like, animal ones, they are so outdated. And this is just a huge... Uh, it, it's just putting a spotlight on it and like how out of touch this actually is. We've been asking for survivability buffs to the companions for, for years, and now you give me this? You give me this. Okay, well, I'm going to use a mod slot for this. By the way, if you don't max this out, it's 150 seconds to revive the companion. Um, I'm gonna make, you're going to make me use this. It's got like three inconveniences about it. Um, and there is a funny glitch you can do where it will revive your, your Sentinel and it will have, you'll have like a, a second ghost version of it that can still shoot things. But that's not the intention of it. Maybe if they made it where the intended effect was to have a... Every time your Sentinel dies, it becomes a turret or something like that. They can watch the area. That could be kind of cool. It would play into the Protea's uh, turret play style and all that kind of stuff, even though they don't want to call it a turret. So, um, yeah, guys. Complete garbage here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say it. This one is insulting. Um, and... Honestly, almost every augment that came out this this pass is kind of insulting. So, uh, there you go. It already revived, apparently. And you didn't even notice it, did you? See, there's the second turret version. Where'd it go? It was there for a second. It wasn't a ghost, I swear. Um, yeah, you can definitely make that happen in the simulacrum. I haven't tried it in an actual mission because I don't actively use Sentinels in mission. Uh, because the re reasons I mentioned in the video. They are outdated. The effects I'm getting out of them are not good enough. And they are a pain in the butt to use, honestly. Like, they look cool. The best part about Sentinel is it flying around looking cool behind you. Because um, the game is just the game has moved on past them. It, unless you just are really... You need to see the red crits. You need to have the Vigilante set bonus on your um, Sentinel stat stick. It, they're, they're just... They're, they're gone. They're long gone. No one cares about them anymore. Uh, if you do, it's just for nostalgia purposes... Or maybe you're using them for like an eidolon hunt for your vigilante set bonus. Vigilante, like honestly, the funny, the hilarious thing is, 
the entire reason anyone ever uses a Sentinel in 2021 is for those Sentinel stat sticks with the Vigilante mods and the Gladiator mods. They really have no purpose besides that. They're, they're outdated, uh, just like, you know, a lot of things in this game that need a touch-up, and they're not going to get a touch-up. But we're here to complain about it, and I hope that you found this video helpful. Don't buy this mod. Don't use this mod. If you are, like, so desperate to have your companion constantly regenerating, use the Vulpophila, or even use the Jin Sentinel. It has an ability called Reawaken, which will let it come back to life every 60 seconds, which is always going to be better than this garbage that requires a mod slot on your frame. So every, yeah, every 90 seconds. This is better. If you need to use Sentinel that badly, put the Vigilante set bonus on here, and you're good to go. Um, yeah, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Maybe in, like, here, okay, let's let's make like one use case of this. Okay, maybe you are doing an Eidolon hunt, and your Sentinel is always dying, and you're just like, well, I want that Vigilante set bonus really bad. Maybe someone in your team could be using Repair Dispensary to make it so you have your Vigilante set bonus all the time. That's the one use case I could possibly see for it. For everyday gameplay, or not every, everyday gameplay, for endurance runs, it's... It's an insult, and it just makes me think that Sentinels are more outdated than I can even imagine. All right, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful to watch this video. I'll talk to you next time, and take it easy. Peace.